do no harm is just not good enough for the oceans. We need to leave them in a better place than we find them. And that's the whole point of rewilding the oceans. And what we call seaforestation is exactly that. It's taking care of the underwater forests, uh, it's uh, protecting them, it's cultivating, it's restoring. So when we started Ten Tree, our goal was to create something that allowed us to plant as many trees as possible. We know the impact trees can have on our planet, on nature and on our climate. And what we found is that diversifying our planting efforts can create the biggest possible impact. Now, we're stepping into a new type of planting with kelp. My wife and I used to dive. There's one particular dive spot that we really like. It's called Cayenne Point. There used to be a, a, literally a forest of bull kelp on there. So you have these big strands going all the way to the surface, and then the sunlight comes dappling through there. And then you have all the fish hanging out there for protection and, and food. And that is just an amazing thing to see. It's just, there's so much life in and around the kelp. Over the last, I think five, six years, when we started uh, seeing different climate, uh, like warmer summers, we've seen basically all of that kelp disappear. We are concerned about restoring kelp because much of the kelp in the world has been lost. Some areas have been protected though and have been well kept. These are refugia and we want to be sure that those stay as healthy as they are today. It's about these things surviving and having an impact for 50, even 100 years, and finding scalable, cost-effective solutions to restore nature and support our climate. And here in Barclay Sound, we're doing this incredible experiment of trying to restore kelp by using green gravel, a very novel technique. Looking at one of the transects that we have uh, peppered with green gravel, hoping that the kelp will start growing and at the same time documenting how much good it does to the biodiversity at large. It's an extraordinary opportunity for us to demonstrate that it can actually be done. People that work on these projects, do the science, support it. People like Oceanwise, Tentree, who spend their time and money making these things happen. That is important. And it can be by donating your time, donating money, buying products that support the project, every little bit helps. And so if you can help that way, yes, you're not in the ocean, yes, you're not physically taking a piece of kelp and put it back in the ocean. But if you enable the people that are doing the science that have the capabilities, boats, divers, you know, all kind of science materials, then that may translate in, in a large mass of people helping to restore and, and correct the problem.